Welcome. One of the most popular tools in the CompuPlast Virtual Extrusion Laboratory is the Extrusion Calculator. The Extrusion Calculator was developed to quickly analyze and optimize relatively simple yet common flow fields found in a variety of extrusion processes. For example, we have an annular channel, which is found in tubular film or pipe production. We have the tube, which is basically your, your standard adapter. We have parallel plates or flat plates, flow through flat plates. There's a cable coding analysis, which has basically a moving wall. There's converging tubes, converging plates, and converging annular channels. The extrusion calculator can also calculate some of these flow fields with multiple layers, or in other words, co-extrusion. So here we have a, a multi-layer annular flow found in tubular film or co-extruded tubing. We have parallel plates, uh, co-extruded flow found in multi-layer sheet extrusion or multi-layer flat film extrusion. The software can also compare uh, materials with respect to their viscosities or, or shear stresses and see how compatible they are for co-extrusion applications. Finally, we have um, the extruder calculations, the metering section, um, estimate of the output based on the design of the metering section and the drag flow relative to the material and head pressure needed to be generated, and we have the fluted mixing uh, section analysis which uh, allows you to optimize the gap based on the RPM, the flow rate, and the um, material properties. Just to demonstrate some of these features in the extrusion calculator, let's uh, perform the exercise of optimizing an adapter. So let's assume we're going to design an adapter for a 1MI linear low density material. We bring that into the project from our material database, and we select an output rate of 100 kilos per hour and an appropriate temperature of 210 degrees Celsius. Furthermore, let's assume our adapter is 400 millimeters long. Now the question arises, what should be the ID or internal diameter of that adapter? So let's initially assume that we're going to use a 50 millimeter uh, internal diameter and we can perform the calculation. In the lower right side, we get the flow characteristics showing the velocity profile in the adapter, as well as the pressure drop, maximum velocity, average velocity, residence time, shear rates, and shear stresses. And you'll notice that the shear rate and the shear stress are highlighted in red. This is a rather unique feature that helps warn the user when a potentially unacceptable flow condition occurs. This feature is based on the material checking parameters which represent design criteria developed through many years of practical experience with the software. Hovering the cursor over the red box, we'll see that the uh, note shows that the shear stress should not be less than 30 kilopascals. And that's the design criteria that is specified in the checking parameters. This checking feature is included throughout all the uh, virtual extrusion laboratory modules, and whenever you analyze a result, um, the software will highlight conditions that are that are less than optimal. So to correct this problem, we want to raise the shear stress. We might decide to reduce the diameter of the adapter and reperform the calculation. And while we have increased the shear rate and shear stress somewhat, we haven't achieved the uh, desired level. Um, the software has a feature uh, with this button right here where it will automatically determine the correct ID of the adapter. And we'll see here that it's 36.16. And when we calculate a gain at that size, we'll see that we've achieved 30 kilopascals. And now we're at 8.4 reciprocal seconds on the shear rate. Of course, 36.16 isn't a very standard drill size, so we adjust it slightly so that it can be manufactured relatively easily. Once the results are uh, obtained, we can put those up 
in the list here, perform any other calculations or size any other adapters that we might want to have, and then we can either export them or print them so we have a record of the results. Well, that's all for now on the extrusion calculator. Future videos will demonstrate more capabilities of this very, very useful tool. Thank you very much.